uh, and then you can like you know, kind of tweak you know uh, what sort of characteristics your offspring will have. Um, but the idea of a program is that you can realize all right something's a repetitive task, and but I, I want this to be done regularly, and so that way uh, the game can be modified as the player goes along. Um, so that's the other aspect of the game is that you know the play you know the player decides how he wants to play the game. You know the player decides how he's going to want to enjoy the game. So that's how I think that this game would really appeal would appeal to some you know uh, a certain strata of gamers that are more into the strategy, the simulation um, type aspect. And then there's the other aspect that well the player can also delve into a fighter, first person not shooter but a first person hack and slash, uh, and then even the thief arrangement. Um, and that's part of part of the idea of that was that uh, to form a faction, you can have it with money or without money. But you know, in a lot of cases, you're going to need money. Money is the you know the, the engine that drives the game. You know, the game mechanics. So to get money, you would need a a base, and that's a place where basically information you get out information uh, for your NPCs and where money is collected. Um, so you could buy a house and then have a vault, or have a you know that's a good you know, hidden stash for your money. But if you had a faction, then yeah, you would want a building to be your faction headquarters. Um, and depending on whether you know it was known or not that your faction that used that building as a headquarters, that would determine if thieves would be coming to get your money. Uh, so you yourself, as a player, could decide, hey, well, I want to go rob another player, or I want to go rob um, another faction, and you know where their you know their headquarters are at. And the way you know their headquarters is that. Is through these information, band, you know, bits or bytes, um, you know, and you can imagine something else of that. Uh, because you can form an organization any way you want. The other aspect of that is that you can have your organization uh, carry around items, which uh, you know designate or you know they can be, you can be recognized. So that way, uh, you can send out NPCs and say, "Go recruit somebody," uh, and you say, "But you know, and you know that way you don't have to spend all your time." Basically, brainwashing an NPC into becoming uh, your servant, kind of thing. Um, and the way you can prove that you know they're a member of your group or they didn't turn on you, kind of thing, is that they would have a certain item, which they can, you can thus or they can thus prove that they're loyal to you. Uh, and these items, they're tidbits of information, you know, because then it's um, if any NPC, other NPC like you know, can see that item, then uh, if you are asking around for a certain item, say like, you know, well, you're looking for a jeweled dagger, which has this sort of design on it, and that represents this one faction. You know, and they're, they don't announce themselves, but they carry around this, this jeweled dagger, so it's visible. Okay, so, you know, the, one of these guys goes walking down the street, a bum sees him, and you want to find out about this organization. So you start, you, know, you question a bum, and you mention, you know, hey, have you seen a, a dagger, you know, jeweled dagger with the design on it, kind of thing. Um... So, like I said, I, I think that's the way you, you can make the environment seem more just realistic and more like you know, just kind of interactive in a way. Um, let's see. So that's the core element. That's the key idea of the game. Uh, and I guess you know, but I guess something else you know, would be that uh, kind of use that Grand Theft Auto San Andreas element of if you use a certain thing or if you do certain things you will build up your skills in that level, or that area. Um, and, you know, if you're not, then it's going to, you know, dwindle and shrink, or your ability will. So, what you have then is you can have, like, certain efficiencies, uh, I guess you can call it. So, if you're always fighting, then your efficiency at fighting is going to get better, but if you're fighting less, then, you know, it gets worse. But if you're always using your uh, management elements in term, uh, for economics, then your efficiency with economics is going to increase. You know, so you get more profit as a result. Uh, same with you know making weapons. Same with sneaking around. Uh, same with military command kind of thing. So that's just you know, and that's the other aspect of the gameplay. I believe a lot of stuff I know. Uh, and then the game world itself would be say a large continent. So. Uh, if you can achieve Grand Theft Auto size, hey, that's perfect. And then you just have, you know, like six communities, organizations, and each has their own um, setup of like how they're formed. And then you have smaller communities outside of that. So um, uh, 
I guess the other aspect, or and another thing is that it's kind of like Oblivion, and silly me, I come up with an idea for a game like seven years ago, six years ago, and you know, so, but uh, that's my idea for faction. <laughs>